Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to read.com. This is the Morpheus Culinary Watch. This is the first watch for their company. And this watch is culinary themed. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a chef's watch, but it's a watch for people who like cooking. It doesn't have any special cooking features, but instead it has features of the design that are meant to remind you of cooking things. Mostly uh, a pan, like a fry pan or a saucepan. Um, when you look at the watch, you can see a few things. So first on the side here, you see culinary engraved into the side there. That's a nice touch, and it sort of reminds you what the watch is all about. The lugs are attached like the handle um, of a pan, and I think that's done pretty well. There are lugs that are attached like this normally, but I think that these are done uh, particularly in a way which is reminiscent of pans, nicely done as well. Um, you have here the crystal and the bezel that look like a lid, like imagine a glass uh, lid for a pan. Well, that's what this is supposed to remind you of. The other side here, you have a couple more things. There's a guard on the crown here, and this guard is supposed to look like the handle of a saucepan. It does, and it also protects the, cr the crown, so that's good. And the crown and the pushers are black, and they're meant to look like the knobs on the stove, um, and they look pretty much like that. There's one more feature on here that is supposed to be reminiscent of uh, a pan. It's difficult to see here. The black dial has small concentric circles, which are supposed to look like the bottom of um, certain types of non-stick uh, pans. The rest of the watch doesn't have any particular things going on that have to do with the culinary theme, but that's probably a good thing because you don't want a watch which is designated to just one type of activity. This particular version is the one which is in a gold tone. They have a steel one and they also have a tw uh, 24 karat gold plated model that goes for a little bit more. This one's about uh, 385 something like that. The watch is large. Uh, it fits pretty nicely. I have small wrists and you can tell that the lugs pretty much extend all the way out there. They are curved down a little bit so that does help. Um, so if my, if my wrist is on the smaller end, um, yours will it'll probably look just fine on your wrist. The size of the bracelet is pretty large as well. I like it. It's a little light, um, but it, it's pretty smooth. The buckle has a nice engraved M for Morpheus there. Uh, you know, it works pretty well. The crystal is sapphire. There might be a little bit of anti-reflective coating, not too much. It gets a little glare there, not a big deal. Then you have the hands of the watch, which are really big and covered with a lot of loom, really easy to see. The dial has a lot going on, as you can tell. It has a very strange movement. Um, it is a Swiss movement by ISA, um, and this is a movement I've never seen before. It has a couple of interesting types of features to it. Um, some of them are, are pretty useful. So, you'll see that in addition to the hour and minute hand, there's two other, other major hands. One of them's right here above the uh, the minute hand. That's a GMT hand. It's set in a way that you don't necessarily set it by the hour. You have to sort of gauge exactly where it is in the hour, but it's not too hard to set. Then this small red arrow up here is for the an alarm. So the watch does have an alarm and that's how you set it. Underneath here, it's hard to tell, there's an on and off indicator for the alarm, as well as what's sort of a power reserve uh, for the battery. Now this is a quartz movement and you're wondering how does a battery have a power reserve? Well, you set the power reserve when the battery's new and then you can check it. And the idea is that it predicts how long an average battery will last. That's, that's at least my understanding. I don't really know how well it works. It's just some other features on here. This subdial you have the seconds and this subdial here you have the day of the week and right in this window you have the date. The day of the week window um, looks fine. It's kind of interesting because the hand doesn't necessarily center on the days. It's always on the right day. It's not exactly in the center. Uh, I'm not sure if it moves a little bit um, each day as it gets closer to the end of the day. Not 100% sure. The, the subdials sort of have a gold um, rim to them, which I, th I don't know necessarily needs to be there as conspicuous, but I think it looks okay. The 9 and the 3 are nice. Um, overall, the face has a very interesting look to it. When you're wearing it on your wrist and you sort of see the watch in a mirror, it has an interesting presence that I think will attract a lot of people's eyes. Plus, the hour and minute hand are so large and loom covered that they're really easy to pick out of the rest of it. 
The best part about the watch is really the theme. The elements which make it a culinary watch are not so conspicuous as to be noticed by everyone and make it sort of a dorky watch. It's the type of thing that you'll notice and maybe a few people you tell notice, but overall it's just a normal looking nice watch um, that is fit for many different occasions. If you're a chef or you're someone that likes to wear a watch while you're cooking. Um, you can wear something like this. It's easy to see um, and you know you can beat it up and not worry too much about it because it's not uh, a super expensive watch and it's fun. It's definitely a fun watch. Um, I like it overall and I think that it's, it's if something that if it appeals to you um, and has a lot of good qualities, the movement is a little quirky um, and the face uh, it's not always easy to use all the functions, but overall it's something which is interesting given the fact that most people simply use a watch to tell the time. Again, this is the Culinary Watch by Morpheus. This is the gold tone uh, version with the bracelet for about $385. You can see the full review at ablogtoread.com. Thanks.